coronavirus pandemic has become the latest global mystery. Ongoing research is yet to reveal the full spectrum of its viral pathology. Recent studies have shown that COVID induces the production of multiple autoantibodies. Autoantibodies are misguided antibodies that target proteins of the body, instead of viral proteins. When autoantibodies bind to self-proteins, they generate an immune response against them. This can disrupt their normal function, cause widespread inflammation and tissue damage, and can lead to multi-organ failure. These self-proteins can be of the immune system, blood, kidneys, vessels, brain, lungs, and various other tissues. Rather than one type of autoantibody, COVID-19 triggers the formation of different antibodies in the same patient. Most of these autoantibodies are similar to those produced in antiphospholipid syndrome. Antiphospholipid syndrome is characterized by antibodies that target phospholipids and phospholipid binding proteins in the body. Antiphospholipid antibodies are correlated to an increased platelet count, neutrophil hyperactivity, decreased kidney function, and increased severity of respiratory symptoms. The formation of blood clots in coronavirus patients can lead to dangerous complications such as strokes. Various scientific explanations have suggested different causes behind the formation of these clots, such as the cytokine storm generated by an excessive immune response, blockage of blood vessels due to low oxygen levels, and direct damage to blood vessels by coronavirus. However, some latest research studies suggested antiphospholipid antibodies as the cause of this serious complication. These antibodies when injected into mouse models accelerated the formation and propagation of blood clots. Blood clots tend to be more common in critically ill patients and antiphospholipid antibodies have also been found mostly in critically ill patients. Research studies have found that more than half of critically ill patients contain such antibodies in their blood. These latest findings have prompted the trails of anticoagulant drug diperidamol, in preventing the formation of blood clots, in coronavirus patients. This drug is generally safe, affordable, and available worldwide. COVID patients might also benefit from plasmapheresis. Plasmapheresis reduces the amount of these autoantibodies in the blood. However, this very aggressive treatment is usually reserved for people with severe autoimmune diseases. Some COVID patients develop autoantibodies against immune proteins called interferons. Impaired function of interferons leads to aggressive invasion by viruses, such as the coronavirus. Many of these antibodies appear about 35 to 40 days after the onset of the disease. Detecting these antibodies can help in identifying patients who are at risk of strokes and other fatal complications. Although these antibodies appear transiently, in some patients, antibodies tend to persist, long after the virus has been completely eliminated from the body. Scientists suggest, such patients might develop long-term medical conditions, such as antiphospholipid syndrome, or more possibly a post-COVID syndrome. Coronavirus is not the only virus associated with autoantibodies. Many other viruses such as HIV, Hepatitis C virus, Ebola virus and chikungunya virus, also trigger the production of autoantibodies. 